It's like magic. <laughs> I did that right there, y'all. Mm. <laughs> hey, booze, who wants some short ribs? Today, I am going to share this incredible, decadent, delicious recipe. I am gonna show you how I make my Chipotle cocoa short ribs over creamy grits using the all new ganache Le Creuset collection. You are going to love it. If you want even cooking, perfect quality, this is the collection for you. Let's get started. I'm going to start by working on our veggies. We wanna have such a luscious, delicious sauce, and this is gonna add so much robust flavor. So I've got some carrots, for sure peel all of that off. And then we're just gonna do some really big chops here. We want big chunks so it doesn't disappear into our sauce after that long three hour braise. And then we've got some celery as well. We've got some onion here and it's already sliced and I'm just gonna quarter it. And then we're also going to add some garlic and I'm going to do like a quick mince of this because we really wanna make sure that that garlic flavor goes throughout the entire dish. All right, and then we're gonna scoot that back onto our plate. And now we're gonna also add some bacon because bacon makes everything taste much better. So, and I'm just gonna cut it into some chunks. So now it's time to get a nice sear on our beef short ribs. I've got some olive oil I'm gonna add right into our Le Creuset. Got that beautiful heat distribution as soon as we crank that up. And we wanna make sure that this is starts at a super high temperature. We wanna get that nice sear and that nice like sizzle. As soon as you hear that, you know you are off to a great start. And while that heats up, I'm gonna start by seasoning my short ribs. Salt and pepper, the heat is right up to temperature. Now I can add these right into our oval casserole oven. Do you hear that? <laughs> it's like magic. Because of this cast iron surface, we are going to get such incredible even heat throughout. So make sure that you crank that heat up high, especially when you're searing, so you can get that golden, beautiful color just like this. Okay, we've got great color on these. This first batch looks great. I'm gonna transfer them to my plate over here and then finish up the rest. So now our short ribs are all seared up and I'm going to actually take out some of that residual liquid that we received from the fat. We're gonna throw in those veggies we chopped earlier and we are also gonna add in our bacon too. So now I'm going to let this cook for about eight to 10 minutes. These veggies are gonna be in the oven for about three hours, so they will continue to soften and tenderize as they bake. So now I'm going to add in my minced garlic, and now I'm going to add in our flour. And this is going to create sort of that luscious, smooth, thickened gravy that we're going to create from that long braise. So now I'm gonna kick up the heat in this recipe. I've got some chipotle peppers and adobo sauce. So now we are going to deglaze our pan and we wanna also make sure that we scrape up the bottom with all of that flavor. And we're gonna add in some beef stock. Now we're gonna add in some red wine. And now I'm gonna add in some soy sauce. I've added in some brown sugar, which is really gonna balance out that heat that we added in from the chipotle peppers earlier. So I'm gonna add that in. I also have some cumin. I just really love how much that flavor just enhances everything. And then finally, I'm going to add in some cocoa powder. I was inspired to add some chocolate flavor because I love the ganache collection. I think of chocolate, I think of how indulgent and decadent ganache is, and it truly inspired this dish. So I know you're gonna love that hint and that unexpected flavor that it brings. And then finally, we've got some bay leaves. I'm gonna add that in as well. And then I'm just gonna stir everything together. And now I'm going to add back in our short ribs, nestle those right into our sauce, put the top on and then now this is ready to go in the oven for a nice long braise. Because of the even distribution of the cast iron here, this is going to make sure that everything cooks evenly and properly and it's going to be absolutely delicious. Bon appetit. <laughs> and I've got our creamy grits. 
and it's time to eat, y'all. I mean, like, the smell is just intoxicating. I know you're gonna love trying this. A lot of people love to, like, eat mashed potatoes with their short ribs and any braised meats, but I'm here to convince you otherwise. It's got so much flavor. We added in that chipotle for that nice kick of spice, but we also have that balance of the brown sugar to give you some of that sweet with the heat, and then served over these luscious creamy grits. You are going to love this recipe. You deserve this meal, and I cannot wait to taste a bite. Mm -mm -mm. Just in the video. It's over. I'm about to chow down. So, so good. It is the perfect marriage of so many flavors. I did that right there, y'all. I did that. <laughs> and you can too. Seriously, you can make this dish. Could not have made it without the look we say ganache collection. I really love how the color inspired me to make this dish. Like you get that beautiful ganache flavor and color from that cocoa that spread throughout and it really just makes this dish like takes it over the top. The quality of these products is unmatched. I loved how easily this dish came together and how evenly all of the food was cooked and it comes out perfectly every single time. I gotta get back to eating. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and this video booze. <laughs> See you next time.